Uh, good day. I hope you are fantastic. Um, you know, as I drive along, as I've been monitoring more things, you know, I try to be more aware of what's going on, especially when it comes to my body, comes to the outside world and stuff like that. I've noticed three things that are being built in our society at a, at a record pace, in my honest opinion. And maybe it's just my area or whatever, but honestly, I've never seen so many of these buildings go up in my whole life. And I think they all have correlations. I started thinking about it. I think they all connect to each other. And I'm explaining it here. And the three buildings are warehouses, storage facilities, and medical facilities, whether it's urgent care, hospitals, whatever. Those three things. So let's go with the warehouse, okay? These warehouses are being built every, every time. Every time I turn around, there's a proposal for a warehouse. This warehouse is being built here. This warehouse is being built there. So what does that tell us? That we are consumers. We are consuming so much stuff right now, okay? That you have to have a place to store all the stuff that you bring in. We don't manufacture stuff anymore in the United States, unfortunately. We bring it in. So when we bring it in, we have to have a place to put it before it gets shipped out to our homes, right? Not always a good thing when we're consuming that much. The second thing is what I talked about relates to the warehouses is storage units. Since we consume so much, we have so much crap, in my honest opinion, so much stuff that we don't need, we have to store it somewhere, all right? So logically, I put in a storage unit, okay? Driving down the one section of my area, there's three cube smarts, three within a quarter mile radius. That's telling you that, that many people need a place to put their stuff. Crazy when you really think about it. The third thing is hospitals or medical facilities. This all goes along with what's going on because we consume so much food, you know, exterior stuff that we technically probably don't need. Um, our, our health stinks. Our health is continuing to fall down. We've seen it, you know, three years ago, what happened that started a whole cascade, but that was just the straw that broke the camel's back for most people. You know, some people woke up and a lot of people still haven't to their health and, and, and what they got to do. When I talk about health and why Earthstrong came about is because I saw the missing things that were missing in a human's life and, and happened with me. It was missing with me. The spiritual aspect was broken. The mental aspect is in there and the physical. Now, some people really overdo their physical, right? Oh, my God, they have to look a certain way and blah, blah, blah. But then they miss on the mental and they're mentally weak, and then they're, they're spiritually not there either. Or some people are strong spiritually. I see a lot of pastors, priests, and stuff like that. But their physical has a lot to be desired. And I know people say, well, you shouldn't just focus on the physical. Well, yes, you should. In the Bible, it talks about your body being the temple. If I'm not taking care of my body, okay, and that has to be in the body form, not in the spirit form, but in the body form, okay, then what am I doing? So a lot of people who preach about you know, spirituality and stuff like that. I'm all for if you're on the right path, not just, you know, false prophets, but you're talking about it in the correct way. But if you're not taking care of your body, I have a hard time because you're not, you're missing out on that final aspect. You need that aspect. We need all three aspects, the spirit, the mind, and the body. That's how it all works. God didn't put us on this earth to be slothful or lazy. He talks about it. You know what I mean? He doesn't like those kind of people. He has a hard time with that. And he talks about being able to work, work to the time you die. He mentions it a couple of times in the Bible. But those three things that I talked about first of what's being built is what is culminating in our community, in our, in our society today. This is what we become. We become a consumer of everything, right? And we're not taking care of ourselves. We've gotten so far away from what human beings should be. Let's be honest. If we go back to, and we read from the beginning of time, they lived off the land. They understood what the land was. They lived off of it you know, through trial and error, hey, this worked, that worked, whatever, and they understood it. We now have very few people who understand how it works. Yes, there are people out there trying to educate other ones, which I'm, you know, I'm appreciative of. I learn stuff all the time. But many, many people just don't want to have any anything to do with it because they're living so comfortably and they're consuming more. So they're buying more from these places. So these places have to build more warehouses. And then from that, guess what? I need to store it somewhere because I'm having more room unless I build another house or build a garage or build this or build that. I have to store it somewhere. This, this all goes along. And then as I continue to stay comfortable and I'm not doing the things I should do, get outside, get barefoot in the grass, in the ground, in the sand, the ocean, whatever, my body starts to fall apart. So then when it falls apart, I got to go to the doctor's. 
And see, it's not like it was when I was growing up with the, in the medical. Everybody has copays now. You know, copays back then. Everybody has copays. So you're throwing more money out of a system to a system that doesn't technically fix you. It treats your symptoms. We have to start understanding that. And that's for our whole other video. So this is just a cycle. So I'm not feeling well. So I don't feel well. So I go buy something. Okay, I buy it from a warehouse. The warehouse ships it to me. I don't have any room to store the old thing that I used to have. So I can need to store someone. Boom. Do you see the cycle that goes on? That's what's being built. We are just in a cycle right now. That's all we're doing. Now, you can call me crazy or whatever. That's fine. But tell me I'm wrong when you look around and see the things that these massive, I mean, these warehouses are enormous nowadays. And they're going up everywhere. Everywhere I turn, I'm like, holy geez, Amazon's putting a new one. This place is putting a new one, you know? PetSmart, Dollar General, everywhere. And I'm like, oh, my God. And it's only because we consume it. They wouldn't build the things if we didn't take it in. And then they wouldn't have to build storage facilities if we didn't have so much stuff. This is the thing that goes on. It's a cycle that continues. And, and, and we're not breaking it. We're not making it any better. I still see all these things being built left and right, left and right, left and right. You know, pretty soon people are probably going to live in their storage sheds. That's all they're going to be able to afford. But it, it's a problem that I don't think many people want to address. And so it goes to a bigger problem of our, our, our being, our health. And like I said, you have to have all three things in place. I'll be the first one to admit I had my physical in place. And then when that broke, I had nothing else there. The spirits and the mental weren't there. So my body was destroyed, my spirit was destroyed, and my mental capacity was destroyed. All that stuff was destroyed. But see, when one breaks and you have the other two, you can lean on them till you fix the other thing, get help for the other thing. But we don't. We don't have those things in place. You need to start working on all three. And that's what the Earth Strong is all about. It's not about making you hurt or making it uncomfortable so you know you despise life. That's not what it's about. It's about challenging you each and every step of your way so you can be better. How many parents out there want to live to see their kids and do activities with their kids? Not when they're 30 and 40, but how about 50? How about 60 and your grandkids? How about 70? People think I'm nuts when I say I want to live to 120. People look at me like, that's impossible. Why is it impossible? Funny thing is, I was at church the other day, okay? This guy's walking around, okay? He doesn't look, I mean, he's definitely older. You can definitely tell he's a little bit older. You would, most people would try to say, hey, the guy looks like he's in his 70s. Now, he has one of those special, I, I don't even, it's a cool looking cane. It's almost like a walking type cane, all designed up and stuff like that. I don't think he really uses it other than just to have it, in all honesty, because I've seen him walk around, you know, where he picks it up and walks with it. So I think he just has it just, it's, it's a cool looking thing. Um, I got asking, you know, find out how old he really was. I, I almost, my jaw almost dropped because I looked at him like, there's no way. I mean, honestly, he looks better than some 40 and 50 year olds. The guy was 107 years old, 107, and he's walking around. I mean, no issues, none whatsoever. Like I said, he had that specialized, cool design-looking cane, you know, the big, almost like a walking stick, I should say, more of a walking stick than a cane, and that was it. So why is 120 out of, out of reach? It's out of reach because of how we're living. It's out of reach because we don't believe we can get there. The positive aspect of life is lost because we have such a negative attitude on what is going on and how our health is. See, when you get sick, that should be the first sign that I'm detox. I don't even call it sickness anymore. I call it anything I get is a detox. I'm detoxing crap out of my system that should not be there. My body knows what it needs and what it doesn't need. And when there's too much of this crap in there, it gets rid of it. And I've spoken about this on other videos. But what you have to understand is, then it should be assigned to you is what did I take in or what did I do to get me to this point? Just like when I work out, I understand what my body needs. When my body was broken five years ago, when it could barely move, when I could barely get my leg out of a car, it would take me sometimes five minutes. And I'm not exaggerating. It's most, one of the most embarrassing things I could do because I couldn't get my leg out of the car. It hurt so bad in my hip and in my back. And everybody told me, well, it's just the age thing, just this and this, that. Now we're going to do surgery on it. No. I figured it out, fixed it, and now I feel great. But that was me understanding what my body was. Everybody has this ability inside of them. I'm not any different than you. But the difference is I took time to understand what my body needed. People aren't willing to do that. We're willing to jump ship, go and say, well, the doctor says I need to take this pill or that pill or this pill. Ask him, does it fix 
your problems? That's what you have to ask first. Every single time you go, is it going to cure me? No. Well, what are you giving it to me for? Well, it's just going to manage your symptoms, but you're not getting to the root cause. So people who have high blood pressure or cholesterol, high cholesterol, which cholesterol is a whole different subject in the sense of, is it really bad for you? Is it not? We have to dive into that deeper at some other point. But if somebody gives me a pill to lower my cholesterol, did they really fix my problem? Or did that pill just fix a symptom of my problem? We have to dive deeper. And we we have it inside of us to figure out what's wrong with us. But we have to look into it. We have to dive into what is going on. It's just the mental part of it, too. Everybody says, I can't get over mentally. Yes, you can. But you have to dive deep into what got you into that. Then you have to go work on it. Am I saying it's easy? Not easy at all. It took me six months to fix the back, to figure out what was wrong, trial and error, to get to the point I was at. And then I had to work on it to get it even better. It was six months constantly every day trying to figure out why is this happening? Why is this hurt? Okay, this bothers it. Okay, I can't do this just right now. I need to fix it. It's all process. And the spiritual aspect, the same thing. You have to dive into the Bible, start understanding the Bible. Find people who are really diving deep into it, understanding it, and watch what you get out of them. This is the thing that you have to start working on. This is the better yourself. Parents, this is the better you. So you're there 100% for your kids. This is to set the example so your kids don't grow up and are broken. This is to set the example so then when you are grandparents, you can be around your grandkids and have fun with them. I've had people come to me to Dave, I just want to play golf two days in a row. I can't. My back kills me. My back kills me after one day of golf. Boom, I have to sit out three or four days. Cool. We figure out what's wrong. We figure out what they're doing. And then I dive deep into it. I had a guy who, who was having that issue. He came into me. He said, I played five straight days of golf. He goes, I could even play the sixth day. I just didn't want to. Five straight days. This is a guy who just seven, eight, nine months ago could not figure out why he can only play one day and then had to take three or four days off because he hurt so bad. Now he can go five days in a row and he goes, I feel great. Why? Because you dive deep into finding out what's wrong and then you fix the issue. I didn't treat a symptom. I didn't treat his back per se to say, hey, let me just get you through a day. I treated what was wrong to figure out how to get him out of that so he could feel great and do what he wants to do. Isn't that what we want? Then that's what we need to do. You have to dive deep into it. But it goes to the fact of what I mentioned at first, the three things that are being built. These all go to what society is doing right now. Health facilities which I call them sick facilities because they're not health facilities. They're sick. You go there because you're sick. Number two, warehouses. Number three, storage units. They all have a correlation together and they're all showing what's happening to the to the de de devolving of Americans, devolving of humans too. We're devolving. We're not evolving. We're devolving. We're not getting stronger. We're not getting better because we don't challenge. We, we try to say we want to challenge our kids, but we're not challenging in ourselves. This goes for men. Specifically, what are you doing? How are you challenging yourself? We should all be challenging ourselves every single day. I challenge myself all the time to read the Bible and try to understand it in a deeper meaning. I was reading something out of the book of Joel, today, of all things. You know what I mean? Nobody talks really about Joel at all, but it's actually an interesting book. And actually, if you look at it, crazy part is what's happening over in Israel right now that book actually explains some things in there that um has some interesting you know take on what's going on yeah and the book was written a long long time ago so like I said but you have to dive deep into these things and then the mental aspect how many people work on their mental aspect very few we all fall apart we can't handle certain situations we break down we have anger issues we don't know how to solve we we hide inside our house because of stuff that has happened to us uh-uh, that's not what God wanted you to do. If God wanted you, he'd have taken you by now. If you're still here, there's a purpose for you to be here. And I truly 100% believe that. Your spirit, your, your, your physical, look at your physical. Look in the mirror. Is that who you really want to be? Now, if you don't care about it, that's fine. Like I said, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't shave all the time. Okay, that's one of my things I just don't like doing. Okay, but the rest of it, I, I try to take care of, eat well as much as well as I can. Work out, do all those things because I know how important that is to my mental and my spiritual. That the body's all aligned with the spiritual, you know, is 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 hugely important and to the mental. So 
guys, I wish you all the best. Reach out if you're really interested in, in, in becoming more Earth Strong. Program starting up in the new year. We're going to hit it hard. Dive deep into all three aspects of it. All right. The physical, the spiritual, and the mental. And I'm telling you, it changed me. Changed me massively in who I am and how, how I think of things. And I know we'll do the same for you. All right. So if you're lost, you're broken. There's no reason to be there and just stick there and think you can't get out of it. You can. Getting to the root cause is always beneficial. You just have to be willing to dive deep into it. Have yourself a blessed day. God bless you. Take care. Remain unsolved.